On this episode of Fit with Mitch TV, we're going to talk about what an iceberg has to do with your body success. It's your health and fitness coach Mitch Braves back again with episode 18 of Field of Mitch TV. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever come across a time when you've been trying to do something when it comes to your body, your fitness success, getting the body that you want and the life that you want? You know what to do, but you can't execute it on a regular basis. You know what foods to eat, you know what exercises to do, you know all of these different things, but you, you're just not able to do them on a regular basis. Maybe you see some short-term success and you fall back. Maybe, maybe you even have a trainer, but you're not getting the success and so you switch trainers, you switch trainers, you switch trainers, you switch workouts, you switch eating plans, you tried all these different things, but you haven't quite gotten to where you want to get to. Well, if that's you, I need you to stop and pay attention to the rest of this video. Make sure you watch it all the way through because I'm going to reveal to you the three steps that you need to get to where you want to get to in your body and in your life. And the real reason why you've seen short-term success but not long-term success. And the real reason why you haven't been as consistent as you know you could be or should be to get to the success that you really want to get to. And I call it the MCM method. Map, mindset, map, coaching, and mindset. AKA the iceberg of success. Now you may be wondering, why do I call it the iceberg of success? Well, if you're familiar with an iceberg, right? An iceberg has about 80 to 90 percent of its mass below the surface. Now, if you take a glass of water and you put some ice in it, you'll see that most of the ice floats below the surface. It doesn't actually float above the surface. So it's the same way in your success. Most of the time, we're focusing on the map. That is the what to do the why to do it, the what foods to eat, the what exercises to do. You're following this advice, you're following that advice. The map is where we face information overload. That's when we get so much information that we don't know what, who to listen to, what to do, and we're, over, we're overwhelmed. And we end up just saying, look, I'm just not going to try any of it. The problem with only focusing on the map is you're living out the rest of the, the, rest of the formula. You're living out the rest, the big bulk that's going to give you the success that you need. Now, if you're familiar with the Titanic, maybe you saw the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. But the Titanic sank in 1912 on its maiden voyage. This was the unsinkable ship, and what sank it was an iceberg. Now, these, these guys were looking at it and saying, look, oh, the iceberg is over there. Yeah, we're not going to hit that. We're good. And it's, and it sliced the side of this ship, and a lot of people died, unfortunately. Why? Because what was below the surface took them out. And the same thing is for you. If you don't pay attention to what's below the surface on your body success and on your, and on your life success, what's below the surface can take you out. And so we spend all the time focusing on the maps and we're saying, well, should I be paleo? Should I do vegetarian? Should I do vegan? Uh, should I not eat meat? Should I not eat grains? Should I not eat carbs? Should I not eat carbs after a certain time? When should I eat them? When, uh, what kind of workout should I do? Should I do HIIT training? Should I do aerobic training? Should I do, tr should I do strength training? Should I uh, do a combination of them both? Should I do heavy weights? Should I do light weights? Should I do uh, big sets, small sets? Over <laughs> so much, so much, so much stuff. How much is cardio? How much cardio do I need? On and on and on and on. And 90% of the questions that I get from my clients are focusing on the map. Focusing on the map. But I'm here to tell you, if you only focus on the map, if I gave you a map of the U.S. highway system from L.A. to New York, and I say, hey, here's a map, would you still be able to get there? And let me, I'm going to ask you another question. How many roads can you take to get from L.A. to New York? Well, there's hundreds and thousands of ways to get from L.A. to New York. So the map 
having a good map alone isn't going to get you the success that you need. And so <clears throat> I'm all for maps. You need a strategy. You need the right strategies. And you need the right map. And I'm going to show you that. And this is what this, this is what part of what this is about. And I'm going to show you that. But only focusing on the map, only focusing on the exercises, the workouts, and the stuff like that, and the foods, only focusing on that and saying, I just need the right thing, is not going to get you the way you want to get to. Because if it was a matter of information, you'd already be, you'd already be there. And so the second step here is coaching. The coach is going to be more than a trainer. The coach is going to coach your mindset and your body. The coach is going to be the person in the car that's going to help you change the oil. The coach is going to be the person who helps you fix the flat tire, who pay, make, sure you pay, make sure you pay attention to the navigation, to your dashboard to see that you're not low on gas, that your the check engine light isn't on, that all of the fluids are functioning uh, properly in your car, that, you have, that your car is what it has is in good functioning shape to get you where you want to get to. A coach comes along and says, look, I'm going to come alongside of you and help you get over any obstacles or humps that are, that are going to come your way. I believe that you have everything that you need inside you already, but you just need to believe it. You need to have the awareness of yourself to say, look, I have what it takes and I'm going to act on it confidently. That's what a good coach is going to do for you. A good coach is going to help you shortcut your path to success. A good coach is going to help you go further, faster. We can't do this by ourselves. I've, I've did that for so long. And maybe you have your friends, your friend girl, your friend guy who's working out with you, but you're not getting to where you want to get to. And you guys are just kind of more going through the motions. Well, a great coach that's going to coach your mindset and your body is going to help you short term that success. And last one here is your mindset. And you can see I gave most of the focus to the mindset. It's the belief about will this car get me there? Do I have what it takes to get me to where I want to get to? About the easiest way that I can illustrate a, a change in mindset is really a change in your identity. And the best example that I can give to that is when a woman goes from being just a woman to being a mother. Overnight, her identity changes. Overnight, she has the motivation and the willpower to not only take care of herself, but to take care of a little one. To take care of a little person that God has given her to the responsibility of taking care of. All of a sudden, the map doesn't matter. And the map that she had before the child came, that map is going out the door because now reality hits. And she says, look, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to find the map that I need to take me to where I want to go, and that is being a successful mother. And so once, her, once your mindset is in place, you're going to find the right map. You're going to find the right coach. But you got to get the mindset in place. You got to believe that you're the type of person to have that success. You got to believe that you're the type of person to deserve that success. And more importantly, you got to have, you got to be the type of person that has something to go beyond that success. It says, look, once I get the body and the lifestyle that I want, what am I going for? What am I going to do? Who am I going to help? Who am I going to turn around and pull along with me? Because it's not just about you. It's about all of us. And so you got to get those three things in place. So my big question for you today is, what is the purpose of your fitness? What are you doing this for? What beyond you are you aiming at? Whose life is going to be improved when, you, when your body is in shape? Is it not just yourself, but who else is going to come along for that journey with you? And so those are my parting questions for you guys. The map, the coaching, and the mindset. Stay tuned. To more Fit with Mitch TV episodes, I'm going to be talking about all three of those, the maps, the mindset, and the coaching. I'm going to give you the, the coaching that you need to help you get along and to help you get to where you're trying to get to in your body and in your life. That's what I'm here to do, and that's what I want to see success for you. All right, guys, remember to subscribe to the video. Subscribe to my channel. I, get the, I do these episodes every week for you to help you go further, faster in your body and in your life. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment in the sections. All right. And that's all I have for this video. And remember to live, learn, grow, and glorify. Later.